Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about some some huge announcement that Wish Z has just announced that will definitely affect the like a lot of the game in the future. And it's really exciting. And there's also some other little bits of news I wanted to talk about and the um, end date for the summer event and there's just a lot of things to go down for today and of course I'll be having a battle in the background as I talk about all this. I actually recorded it entirely in the battle you're going to watch in the background but I just kept continuously yawning because I had like just woken up as I was doing it and I might yawn a few times as well in this video but yeah anyway hopefully you guys are excited and let me know down below what you think this huge change or huge addition to the to do the world actually is and if you know what it is let me know but yeah hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's hop straight into it now actually hopping straight into it we don't actually have any news about doodle world at all we actually have news about the sister game the brother game i'm not entirely sure of doodle world known as hero havoc new channel for hero havoc hero havoc announcements we finally found someone to take over it also i haven't really been active the past few days because of baldur's gate 3 lol i'll try to finish pc search and the fishing help request by this week's update and this will also be the last week of the summer event so quite a bit to unpack there so basically hero havoc might finally actually be getting some updates which is really nice and if you don't know there's actually a ugc event going on for it right now so you're actually able to find some free ugc which i probably should end up doing so i might actually end up streaming that but we also have i actually have never i've actually seen one of my friends playing baldur's gate 3 i never actually heard of it so i don't actually know what it is so maybe if anyone knows they could enlighten me and as well as the summer event actually going to be ending this week and there might be they might be adding the fishing um, update which is exciting because then we're actually going to be able to maybe find Sharpod which Wish actually did mention something about Sharpod which has been one of the most forgotten things in the game maybe next to Azupian um, and there was also um, Possage which I maybe will exist soon but yeah so we're going to be hopping into the next one and Wish is announcing right now this doesn't mean the fourth key will be ready this Saturday I just think the summer event has gone way too long. We also have some goodies planned in the meantime though, such as fishing. Sharp up on Route 5. Not Sharp Pod, sorry. But listen, that is honestly absolutely insane. The reason this is going to be such an insane update is because of how good Seraphin actually is. Look, Seraphin has something that could inflict vulnerable which can force switches or have rush which can make it a fast offensive threat and with its absolutely crazy defensive typing i won't lie metal water is a really good defensive typing as it um water is weak to electric poison and grass and metal is immune to poison and resists plants so essentially it gains a neutrality to plant and an immunity to poison while staying the same effectiveness on spark which is really good and i think Seraphin's going to impact a lot of the game as it quad resists ice and there's a lot of good ice type attackers it's able to beat um quite a few things actually because you can switch in against some wolf Reeves without reckless charge and if it's venom bite reckless if it's venom bite approaches onslaught or savage blow um icy slash into quick ice you fully wall it and there's nothing that it can ever do to beat you because it's never going to be able to do enough damage plus it can have rush which can outspeed wolf Reeves after it's used its own rush which would be a very interesting interaction to see but after that um i'm not really sure wish has also said that um there will also be some fi some fishing exclusive doodles that will be added when the help when the fishing help request is finished so basically what it means we're going to be getting some new doodles this week that you could get by fishing which would be interesting because it's a completely new mechanic Hopefully it does not come out at 4 in the morning when I'm trying to sleep because sometimes updates do that and then I miss them and I'm like two hours late and everything has already been discovered. I'm just kind of crying. But we'll probably also see Angerler being seen in these fishing things. Maybe even Shiwi. I'm not sure about Shiwi. Maybe even Octonut. But who knows? We only have like two fish doodles in this game so far. Sharpod and... Uh, what is it? Hmm. 
angler, I think. But yeah, regardless, it's a really interesting update. Fishing will definitely be very cool to see because it's a new way to hunt. And I wonder how ch enchanting will probably work exactly the same, but it'll probably be more tedious because you actually have to actively be playing the game, which no one likes actually playing the game. I'm just kidding. But regardless, hopping into the next announcement, which I think is actually the biggest one. Here we go. Lastly, introducing artificial runestones. Doodle Co., specifically Porisha's department, have been researching runestones for Runic Island in order to recreate them for other doodle species. This means doodles that, that didn't participate in the doodle war can have their own runestone. This will be an important... They will be an important plot point during Oasis Part 2. This here is the first official runestone. Can you guess which doodle it belongs to? I'll show it on screen now. Boom. Gameplay wise, they function as normal runestones. This is what I wanted to talk about the most because of the amount of potential this thing has. From what we know, every single Awakened form that has cur that currently exists has participated in the Doodle World War, which if you don't know, was, a, was an ancient war of the past, which... What in the heck was that sound? Did any... Did anyone... Anyway, I know what that sound was. I, that just freaked me out. But if you don't know about the Doodle World War, it was basically an ancient war that um, caused... That had a lot of Doodles in their pure forms to have to go into hiding. Such as Awakened Volden Chant, as it was like the guardian of like rain. And it had to go into its uh, like little little bit weaker form. You know? I had to put in... Had to, had to not skip leg day. But... Yeah, basically this this makes it so every single doodle can have an awakened form. And that's absolutely insane. What I find very interesting and very cool is you know about um the three um main mascots I feel like of my doodle world parts of my channel, which are um Remy, Waffles, and Sling. Waffles and Remy have awakenings. Springling doesn't. So that means eventually if Springling gets an awakened form, it could honestly be absolutely insane. And personally, I think it would be cool if Springling kept its hidden strength aspect of it. Unless it got some kind of different kind of change that awakened Springling could get. Because I feel like if it's not hidden strength, awakened Springling won't be very good. Maybe like boost the attack up by 10 and gain, a, gain some speed. And then still give it magical attack, so it has the option of being magical. But I don't know. I feel like um, if Springling did eventually get an awakened form, it wouldn't be all that strong if it didn't have hidden strength. Because the rest of it, because it's not, I think its kit is more centralized around hidden strength, seeing it's going to get careless assault. So it wouldn't make much sense, unless it wants to just boost its attack to sky high levels. But regardless, this just means there's infinite potential for doodles in doodle world to have awakened forms and it's just kind of crazy and it's really cool to think about and i don't know the potential for awakens are endless and as you know i love showcasing awakened forms because they're really cool being able to completely change how an, how a doodle performs just by the simple click of a button is really interesting and adds a lot of versatility to battles but yeah with that, I think that is all of the announcements which is made. And also, a little side note: you will be un you will not be able to attain the um, the uh, artificial runic stones from Runic Island runs, meaning they are either going to be story centralized or you can find them in the gem shop. Which, if they are that, if they are like that, my bank account's about to be dry. But regardless, hopefully you all enjoyed. And because the summer event will be ending this week, this is your last chance to actually take me up on my speedrunning offer, which depend which whoever gets the fastest time will get a $25 Robux gift card. Um, and I I made a video so you can go just go search up um, that video and it'll explain all the rules and how exactly those work. I'm not going to explain it here because I already made a video dedicated to it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see everyone in the next one. Bye bye.